everybody, welcome to the video. We are going to look at how to approximately solve a classic problem from geometry. So the problem is how to trisect any given angle. Now if you search angle trisection on YouTube, you will find a lot of videos that claim to be able to perfectly cut an angle like this into three parts. I will not be showing you how to do it perfectly because it is impossible. I'm not going to waste uh, people's time by explaining that it is possible. Lots of people have done that already. I'm going to show you a cool way to approximately do it using only a compass and straight edge. So, so how do we do it? Well, let's have a look at an example. So I'm going to draw an arbitrary angle. I'm just going to try and make it quite large. I'm just going to draw an arbitrarily long arc, something like that. And I'm going to approximately cut this into three parts. I'm going to explain the mathematics a little bit afterwards, exactly why this works. But first, what we'll do is we'll just draw out the arc. So I hope that you can all see this. There we go. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to bisect this arc. There's a classic technique for arc bisection, which I won't explain, but I will just quote it here, so to speak. Do something like that. cut this arc in half. I can draw the whole line, but really I'm just interested in that. So the first thing I do is I then halve another one of these sections of the arc. So same thing again, same technique. those points and then I halve this now notice that I went from this point here and I went above it now we're going to halve it again but we're going to halve it below it so I'm going to bisect now this section have it now I've halved it there now this section here I'm going to halve but I'm going to halve above it same thing again as you can see that it's getting quite hard to do it with this compass now the radius is getting pretty small Nonetheless, I've managed to do that again. Now I've halved it. Okay. So that was half above it. Now I need to do half below it. So I need to draw an absolutely tiny circle now, circular arc. It's going to be very hard to draw with this plastic compass. But it's going to be something like that. And something like that. And 
now it's going to be there. Now can you see you've got this nice kind of shape of these arcs that are just inside one another. Now you've got to imagine that I've got an infinitely small uh, compass and infinitely precise hands, but I could keep going. And now I'm just going to halve it, I'm going to eyeball it. So that was half below, now we do half above, half that, then half that below. And now we know that the answer is going to be somewhere there. So I'm going to say that the final answer is about there. That's about one third. Now let's just check with the compass how accurate this is. It won't be perfect because this is an approximation, but let's see if I go from here to here. And now I go from here to here. And now I go from here to here. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I just get my eraser, get rid of all these construction lines. Because we don't need them anymore. And I just mark on what I need. And there you go, let me just show you. This is an approximate trisection. And I've cut that angle into three almost equal parts. So that's the technique. You keep doing an angle bisection above, then below, above, then below, above, then below. Now, why does this actually work? Does this pen work? Okay. So, why does this work? Well, let's have a look at what I was doing. I halved an angle and then I took away a quarter of it. And then I added on half of a quarter, which is an eighth, because every time with the arcs, I was taking half, and I was going half above, half below, half above, so above, below, negative, positive, a sixteenth. I think I did it five times, and plus 32. So why does this get us something close to a third? Well, let's have a look at the first one. Um, let's just look at the first, first couple of terms. So what is a half minus a quarter? Well, that's easy, that's a quarter. Now, what we'll do is we'll take a half minus a quarter plus an eighth. We can use our answer from before. This is the same as a quarter plus an eighth. You can do the mathematics. This becomes um, a three eighths. Now, we have a half minus a quarter plus an eighth um, minus the sixteenth, which is the same as three eighths minus the sixteenth, which is the same thing as five sixteenths. Now, do I have enough room for this? So let me just pull this down a bit. And the last one, we have a half minus a quarter plus eighteen minus a sixteenth plus a thirty tooth. 32nd, whatever you want to call it. This is the same thing as 5 sixteenths plus 1 32 32nd, which is the same thing as 11 over 32. I want to draw your attention just to these fractions at the end. So if you imagine actually even before any of this, we just had a half. So let's just get rid of all the working out because we're not interested in the working out, only the answers. Now let me just rewrite the answers. So it's a half, a quarter, three eighths, five sixteenths, eleven over thirty-two. Now, if we want to write these as decimals, we notice something. This is zero point five. This is zero point two five. Three eighths 
is the same thing as 0 0.375. 5 sixteenths, I'll have to use a calculator now. Uh, 5 sixteenths is 0 0.3125, of course. And now 11, um, 11 sixteenths. So 11 32ths is 0 0.34375. So, dear viewer, I hope you can see that there's some sort of pattern here. They seem to be homing in. It goes down. Right? goes down to 0 0.25. And then it goes up to 0 0.375, then down, and then up, down, and then up. But it seems to be getting closer and closer to some value. So... What is that value? Well, let's have a look. You notice it's 5 sixteenths. It's very close to 5 fifteenths, which is in a third. 11 thirty-twoths, which is very, very close to 11 thirty-thirds. It's getting closer and closer and closer to a third. If you keep doing this, you will get arbitrarily close to a third. I will just demonstrate. Let's just do one mega one to show you this. So plus an eighth. Take away a sixteenth plus a thirty tooth minus a sixty fourth plus a one hundred and twenty eighth minus one hundred two hundred one two hundred and fifty sixth. Well, let's have a let's have a look at this. This is going to be the same thing as one hundred and twenty eight. I'm going to do this all in one go. You can have a go at doing this seeing if you can see my, my steps. Take away 64 plus, um, plus 32 minus 16 plus 8 minus, uh, minus 4 plus 2 minus 1 all over 256. Okay, 128 take away 64. Well, that's easy. That just becomes 64. 32 take away 16. Well, that's easy. That just becomes 16, these are all just half. 8 take away 4 is just 4. 2 take away 1. Now it becomes 64 plus 16, 80. 4 plus 1, 5, 85. Over 256. Now, what is 85 times by 3? Well, 85 times by 3 would be. 255 so it's incredibly close to a third already now I'm not going to go into the details of this but there is a formula for this using a geometric series uh, and what we could say is we could say the sum of this series to n is the sum and in this case is going to be negative a half um, well, we can do it with the negatives. Uh, okay, that's actually a little bit tricky. Anyway, let's do this as, um, okay, actually, you know what? Forget that, I'm gonna do that in another video because I realized this half makes it a little bit tricky uh, to explain this without referring to a starting ratio. But what you can do is you can, you can eventually end up with something like this um, where you end up with this infinite series and the sum of it becomes one minus, so one over one minus the ratio. In this case, uh, the ratio is negative a half. This is the same thing as one over three halves, which is the same thing as two thirds, which basically just means the remainder is two thirds. Uh, and then you can cut that away from the rest of the, the angle. Anyway, I will, I will treat that a bit more delicately in another video, um, but I thought this is, a, this is a good way to explain it. So this is how you arbitrarily trisect an angle let me just draw that out once again, really rough. I'll just draw it very, very big so you can see. The idea being that we would take this angle, we find half of it. So we get half from below, half above, half below, half above, half below, half above, something like that. And can you see, even though I've done this by hand, that is very approximately still just a third. So that is how 